Hello and welcome to What's on the Shelf. I'm your host, Jen. We're having dinner and a game tonight. Uh, we will be playing later tonight also with uh, Fragile from uh, her channel as well. I'm just adjusting some sound settings because I did a whole bunch of stuff today with trying to fix my sound and my setup prompts. So <coughs> hopefully that all works out and we don't have any problems. Same thing with the camera. The camera's been kind of finicky, so we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, tonight's dinner is pierogies with some sour cream. Mmm. Perfect. So we are playing an updated version of the beta of Little Witch in the Woods, so we'll be starting from the beginning. I will probably play for about an hour, give or take because I want to make sure I have time to prop for fragile stuff as well. This is bacon and onion pierogies. Very tasty. Well, there goes one of my lights. Uh, let me go rescue it. Mm -hmm. All right. You okay? You've been rescued? <laughs> Poor light. <coughs> I am still coming off of a cold, so if you have trouble hearing me, do please inform me. And we shall continue on with our stuff. So, let's get down to it. So we're going to go new game. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There is something off about the legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's washroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. <clears throat> we searched the whole school to save that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's bathroom. A carrot in the men's bathroom? That's an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's bathroom. Don't you ask Will instead? It's the men's bathroom after all. Nope, that crowd... <clears throat> nope, that coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind that if you weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six figured under. Ugh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Oh, a ticket for this train. Hey, a ticket for. <coughs> Sorry, reading is a problem today. <coughs> a ticket for this train cost a hundred pies. 500 pies. Mm -hmm. I forgot to set up so I can see my chat, guys. Sorry, just a second. There we go. And it stops the, w the witch's house in the High Lion where all roads lead to. You're a second place at the School of Witches. Whatever. I can't care about that anymore. How am I second place anyways? Ivy snuck into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even took through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the second basement. The school basement. <coughs> I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply don't I simply don't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quiet. This is a train only for those who who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? 
I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when you arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get here. I don't know your head. I didn't know you had such self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city, uh, terrible city of rules that is lion, High Lion? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. It, this is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing slippy boots when she first arrived, strappy boots, when she arrived in High Lion. So it, she, so she almost couldn't get off. Wow. She, so she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, Mum bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Era just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also said that comforting, comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I also asked other people if you don't believe me. Key word gain. Laced up boots. It's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to High Lion. Main. Okay, so this is where they let us run around the train a little bit. Um, just stuff my food in my mouth. The truth remains. Should shoes be taken off when arriving at Highland? Ask the others. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? But that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead for of a drink? Anytime. So they show us how we can change categories. Something on your mind. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? For what? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into a high line station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for high line. If you were wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, you who wretched high... Wretched, wretched, high lion, look first upon thy shoes, or so that's how the saying goes. <coughs> See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots one gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating manga cum clow. It sure is amazing your graduation... Despite your acting, acting, actic, antics, antics, excuse me. <coughs> we gonna keep up with the attitude of yours. Ha ha ha. Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being bored. It, I have a feeling being bored won't be an issue. Nope, it's just, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it, but it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you in your hat. You've been listening? Other guests wouldn't, would have heard about your antics arson at school with witches by now. I didn't set it on fire, really. Um, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and it exploded. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened the fourth time, so I shook it one more. An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bunkin once you're in the city. Got it? You're not to. You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detective never reaches a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. You can view your notes to see the key words here. So I can go talk to some other people as well, who will give me more information. 
<laughs> These turned out really good. A little crispy. Have to lower the heat the next time I eat, like cook them. <laughs> the food was really delicious, though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette was overflowing with cheese and crabby as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Even the frozen strawberries and peach cobbler with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the School of Witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the cards and throwing away the breads. Don't say that again in High Lion. I'll definitely try that Gukula's cupcake there. That's if that's if I get to High Lion before I get bored to death. Oh, hello. Uh, am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I wanted to ask you about something. You're on your way to Highline, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits ha die hard, especially for one deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. So what brings you here? Speak. Before that... What? You've been a, you've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask you anyways. Isn't it uncomfortable to be wearing strappy boots? It takes time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be harder for you when you arrive at Highline. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry, I'd rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now, it's a joke to make fun of people who visit Highline for the first time. Highline for the first time. Stop. You don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back a laugh? No, I'm not. He's trying to so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't cover me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait until you're, you've you arrived. Lucille has three more days to go. Three more days? That's a terrible as the sm that's as terrible as the small smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. Up ahead is the engine room. And this is where you can chit chat, personal stories. Small talk is forbidden during operations. Up ahead is the engine room. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go back. All right, now have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. And we've completed that quest. I'm bored. We just sat down. This is torture. Start at the window if you're so bored. Uh, look outside. Look at all those mountains. It must be... There must be a hidden cave with some strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awoke in a terrible demon. Wait, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window. At the summit of the mountain, there's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree. 
why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up, this train won't stop for two days. Ugh! I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Fat chance of that happening. So stay, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. <laughs> Aren't there any pocket pots nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers. This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? Hey, a bow constrictor. The very line is, what's going on? One moment, please. I have a text. <laughs> Boop -doo 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 -doo. There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a bow constrictor, though. I don't care if it's a bow constrictor. Please just say there's some massive crisis issue, critical issue. Please, please, please. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical illusion, perhaps. The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but of course I remember the shining trees at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. All right. So now, eh. we're looking for the shiny tree. <laughs> Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can just go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. Open memo board, close memo board. So this is the memo board. And we're going to head this way. Oh, the game saved. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. It's a secret passage, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet it's the path beyond here. Do, 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 do. What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkins. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forest and areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. But I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be around. Since the nucleus gives off light, when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Ah. Remove. There we go. Great. 
Great, it's time to explore. Please don't use the word explore. That would get, uh, that word gives me anxiety, no thanks to your mother. So, if I remember correctly, the hat used to be her mother's. Press the sprint button to move faster than normal. Sprinting uses stamina. I got an apple. I got an apple. I acquired some branches. Why? Okay, that's my inventory. Okay. Well, I think I can pull this one too. Yes. A mountain. It's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gloves worn out from all the wind. Why are there so many things blocking my path the path? This must be the forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a bar barrier made from a witch's pattern. Witch's pattern? Is that a witch here? Is there a witch here? There was or do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue long as it's drawn well. Oh wow, it's a gigantic shining a uh, gigantic shining tree. The same one we stopped in the train. This is a bitter grape tree tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check it out, Virgil. There's a ton of butterflies on it. You're right, the butterflies seem to be glowing. Those are bl blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a sub substitute moonlight. The light from those butterflies has the same actual power ha bleh, has the same power as actual moonlight. It's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree and butterfly grow glowing with moonlight. It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that these two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that these two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They usually raise together... They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflowers. It's an uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Oh, anyways, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay, let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. I don't think I got a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's somewhere I can sleep for the night. What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look, the moon, bl blue moon butterflies we saw at the peak is here too. It might as well collect some for the purposes of study. I think I can just sneak up and grab it. Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gaver said? Death lies under the bed? No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Ah. Approaching it and using the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. That's a new feature. Open encyclopedia. There we go. Blue moon. A for details. 
have at times. I'm just gonna grab another potato. <laughs> Tool used for collecting. Collectible that is required. How to collect to make collecting easier. Great, it's registered in the category. Let's see. I like the fact that she has little glasses. Now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? Tool. Hmm, so you can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do about that. But I want to do it right now. Getting to the witch's house in High Line is more important. Oof. Let's go back then. There's gotta be something else that's fun. No. Oh. Draw. That is important too. Why can't I draw it? Mm, I need to go to the other side. Mm. Let's see what else I can find. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Ellie, let's go back to the train. Look at the Virgil shining white cat. I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to. Let's go after the creature. Come back, kitty. Oh, draw. I need a net for that one. Oh. I think the cho the cat dropped something and left. What's this? Looks like a witch chalk. The thing you can use to draw things like a pattern, it looks a little different from the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it's erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same color witch chalk. Since I have the one I just uh, picked up earlier, let's draw it again then. Should I draw the witch pattern? Yes. All right, I draw the witch pattern again. Investigate. Eh. Eh. Flip. I'm having problems with my pierogies. Oh, look, there's a little pumpkin. Hmm. Where did the cat go? Look, Virgil, there's a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay for stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at a witch's house? That's true, but... Anyone there? Is anyone there? Seems like no one is there. It could be an abandoned witch's house because the witch administration can't figure out anything. All right, let's go inside. Oh, it really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration looks okay. Although it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition to consider how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Uh, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. Actions will, uh, such as collecting and sprinting using stamina, you can 
re recover stamina spent by eating or sleeping. The house is a bit messy. We'll just sleep for one night, who cares? But I want to clean up. I know this is just a tutorial bit, so I won't clean. Hmm. What's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train only to dream of just that. Been there, done that. Uh, I dreamt that I was, um, you should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that the actual, isn't that the actual, actually the sound of the train? Wait, really? Isn't that taking off already? Let's hurry. It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. We're gonna run. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Wait for me, train! Huh? Where's the train? Ah, <laughs> looks like the bird was imitating the train sound. But where's the train? It probably left a high lion. Then what do we do now? Looks like, <laughs> let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clue. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mother, your mom. What is that thing? It's called the Gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. Quiet. I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. Fine, whatever. Just be quiet. A letter. How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see, I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vine. They said they can't wait because they said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just stop there. Uh, you can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send Auntie and Arden my regards. <coughs> Bartender. He said, there was a village, Virgil. Are you even a little upset that we missed the train? There is a village nearby. I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's go look for it again. Let's see if there's a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? We might have to stay there until we find the village. Okay, please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Right. You heard me, right? Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. So, draw with your quill. Use the quill to log three more to the category. Uh, and clean the witch's house whenever a prolonged stay is required. So we gotta draw with the quill a bit more. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's bunnies. Squishy bunnies! Get the other squishy bunny! Haha. <laughs> okay. The town lies to the east of here. Ah. Uh. I guess people do live around here. Alright. At Teddy's. It seems to be blocked by something over there. That's true. 
It's a little honey pumpkin. Let's go take a look first. Hmm. Get the other bunny. <laughs> Can I describe that? No, I can't. Okay. There is time that progressively goes through as well. Let's get of the weeds first. There's too much. It'll take forever to pull out this out. It will take forever to pull all this out using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. Might have a potion to get rid of the weeds. What bin? Look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is dusty cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. I wonder where the witch is, the one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in... I cannot pronounce the name of that place. Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful for later. She really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. It's a broom, a uh, witch's bookshelf. Technically, it's a bookshelf with the witches the witch was using. That's the same as a witch's bookshelf. I'm going to read a book though. I tie, I'm i tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging, I read enough books at school. Hmm, witch's history, the 12 plants, fun books of plants, gardening for witches. There's so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get here. All done cleaning. It's also messy in front of the desk over there. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. There's something dusty over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator. That's why you have to listen to your teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? I'm so excited. I love this character. She's just so much fun. <laughs> wow, look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. Oh, cleaning again. I know what this is. It's an extractor. We used to we used it so many times at school. It has, uh, it was a slightly smaller one though. It would would be hard to use. Like, uh, look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, it's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. Alright, let's go to the village first. Repairing the tools. Let's look for one. This box looks pretty useful. I put stuff in it when my pockets are full. Oh, wow, this is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly uh, processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right handle technique, ladling technique. And at last, uh, at last, you'll end up with the proper potion. 
crafting potions. In order to craft potions, you need the following requirements. Ingredients, fire setting, and ladle direction. Carefully review the recipe in the encyclopedias. I actually like teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. We'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. A roaster, I hate this thing. You have to put the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you simply put the ingredients and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh well. There's no handle for wine in the spring. Hmm. Where would I get a roasting handle? I don't need the roast roaster since it's it's not needed for the basic recipe. And there should be some something when you get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. I would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirt like this. Still, the cauldron is fine. The sp spilled bottles, scrubbled table, and a book. What a mess. Just press off the dust. Just pressing off the dust m might take it a, a lifetime. What's this? Luna oil. Oil. Looks like a recipe for a potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads, a potion with the power of the moon. The ingredients, moon flower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive material are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. Let's have it ready for now. There is also something underneath. Where? Oh, you, right. Hmm. I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it in school. It's an ancient witch language. You mean I learnt how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyways? Um, looks like a recipe. Seems like moons, something. I have no idea. I got a headache. Take a look if you remember later. Unreadable memo, an old member written in an unintelligible language. I think I can learn the language a while ago, but I can't remember. The item has been moved to the storage. Yeah, I should put it away and re revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There's no use for it now. Okay. Finished cleaning. Seems like something dropped on the floor. Do I need to swipe the floor too? Oh, my inventory is full. Yes, because I did the thing where I was collecting stuff and I didn't need to right away. Let's focus on what we're doing. I hope we get to work on it later. Ugh. Moon oil. Weeds. Oh, that's a cute bunny. What time is it? <laughs> but I want to make a potion. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? You use them in school countless of times. Oh, are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. And I guess the witch lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. Yes. I'm done with the cleaning. Now we can make the potion. It would be hard to make properly because the machine, tool, uh, machine tools are broken. <coughs> Since there are ingredients on the ground, let's try making 
with them for let's try making with them for now there was little honey pumpkins in front of the village the stubborn weed elimination potion should do right it's a weed termination potion whatever check the recipe in the encyclopedia you'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you are luckily enough to find all right let's do that Okay, so stage four fire, don't stir, pour into the right vessel. Yes, we understand. Ingredients to craft with. Ingredients refer to the process things. View ingredient stuff. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So we need one try crafting weed termination potion yeah yeah we get that we need one witch thingy we need one thingy here hold on for us to craft i love the little animation it's so cute all right now we can go throw a potion eliminate the stubborn weed extermination potion is complete the potion it's a potion of removing weeds. Anyways, it's ready. Let's go throw the throw it at the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. You must throw it at the little pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because weed termination potion is just a temporary measure. I got it. So you, you equip up and down for the potion and then... We don't have any others, so let's go. <clears throat> so let's save here. What should I do? Save. My game has been saved. Naps. You can take a nap. You cannot take a nap at night. You can only take one nap per day. Good to know. Alright, equip the potion. Right trigger to th throw while aiming. L. Eh, I hope it works. This is why we saved. Eh. Here it goes. Yes, we will quickly pass through it so we can remove the nucleus. Because it's going to grow back. There we go. Huh, this isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. Oh, no. What do I do with the ex uh, with the extractor? First, let's look around here. Hello, do you live in the village? Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Oh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. She must really love nature. So much she can't have a conversation. We should respect her interest. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of nature lover, that doesn't make sense. There are a lot of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. Okay, oh, but we can't use the machine tools now. I must process, uh, proceed with what collected, uh, collected, I must proceed what's been collected to make potions. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier, didn't you? There should be enough to make curse lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her? What? It's a glass bottle. 
That would be perfect as in a glass extractor bottle. Hmm, where? Oh, you're not- you weren't kidding. Alright, now let's make curse lifting candy to lift the curse. And to receive the glass bottle as a reward. That would be nice. First, let's check on the candy that can lift the curse in the book. Back we go. Take a look at that huge prickly vine. Wow, that they are really big. Too big for the weed terminator potion, I think. Hmm. We'll have to do something else. We'll have to stay at the witch's house for now. I don't think there was anything else over here. Hmm. <laughs> Get some witch lifting curses, potion, potion, curse lifting candy, scrubber reacts. So the two, ooh, I need to read the uh, stage three, don't stir. Stage three, um, nope. Don't stir. Craft. Ooh. We made a potion. No, we made candy this time. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Give me a sec, guys. I'm just double checking something real quick. Okay. Oh, there's new dudes. We can write about the new dudes. Eh, draw with a quill. Aha! Pumpkin Terries. Shall I give her the curse lifting candy? Gift. Would you like to try this? May the blessing of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Oh, thank you so much. To hell with nature. I guess it really was a curse. I could tell that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious, but just by looking at him. What a simply... Uh, yet I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but all I could... But I could only praise nature. Pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. Still, I'm glad that the curse was easily removed. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Aura. How long has it been since I said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on the train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh, dear. I was... About to get, uh, I was about to enter town, but it's blocked by some prickly vines. Damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I can stay there. An empty, oh, yes, there was a witch, uh, there's a witch's house that here. That's good. I'm busy in the village, too, but the vines stop. I had, I, business in the village, too, but the vines stopped me. Nature be damned. I'll be here for a while, so let me know if you need anything. Oh, then, can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roasting handle for the wi winding the roaster. Wait a minute. I'll look for them. Sure. Ellie, do you have any money? I do. One gave me pocket money when I came out. You think you'll be able to buy witch's tools with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Uh, is that so? What if I haven't, don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make a sell, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if these people, there are people to buy them. I found it. Take this. Uh, got the glass extractor bottle. 
How much is this? Oh, never mind. This is re is return for breaking the curse. Wow, that's good. Thank God. Unfortunately, I don't have any roasting handles for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. Good. Please bring it then. Okay, I'll write roaster handle in a memo. Oh, and take this too. Healing candy. A recipe for a candy that quickly heals light wounds. Since the price of the bottle earlier isn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Thank you. <clears throat> Make sure, uh, sure, come back next time. And we'll be able to fix the extractor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should, I should, until the train comes back. Really? I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? Mmm, that. I'll decide when that happens. Let's, let's just find the extractor first. Fix the extractor first. Sorry, my dyslexia is kicking my butt hard today. I just want to read fast because I've already read these things and I want to see the new stuff that's potentially part of this. Should I use the glass bottle I have for the extractor? Use. Good, now I can use the extractor. Let me check on the time. We can finally make potions properly. Then what do I do now? Don't you want to go to the village? You should remove the gigantic prickly vine. That's true, but it seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing with a recipe I have now. The basic recipe does seem kind of inadequate. What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make wee termination potion, you can get rid of little honey pumpkins. I'll be able to go to places that are blocked a little more. Yeah, so the forest. Let's look through the forest. There must be something. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I think I can already activate this. Because I already got some fluffy guys. And I can put them over here. I can also read the recipe. Now I can have the healing candy. And I got the new guys here. These guys I can just grab. But I remember that if I use the, the other potion, I can get rid of them faster. But we are going to save here for now because we are going to head into playing games with uh, Fragile. Uh, so we're going to save. And then we're going to quit. And we'll see you guys probably about 30 minutes to an hour. Bye, y'all.